In the series of JavaScript Simple Project, today we're going to create this autocomplete search using JavaScript. As you see here, I have a search box which is really simple. And if I came here and type, for example, I here, and it's, it's, it's going to return all the countries which are started with, or which its first letter are started with an I. So if I came, for example, past its uh, CE, and it's, it's going to only return these maps. So, but if I came and clear this out, all these things will disappear. So let's create it out. But before we start writing codes, make sure to subscribe my channel for more videos just like this one. Here I have a very basic HTML file. And in this HTML file, we're going to need two things. A search box for searching things. So I save input and it type is text. I'm going to I'm gonna give it a placeholder. Its placeholder is going to be search and I'm going to give it an ID of search. We need a div for holding uh, the values or the countries uh, which we search on. So I say add div and I'm going to give it an ID of a match ID match uh, list. So now here I have a JSON file. You need to you need to have this one to you can work or follow along with this tutorial. If you want this uh, uh, this file this JSON file, I'll leave its link in the description. I I just copy these things out from uh, from uh, from GitHub, and I should be, uh, fetch this uh, from an API. But because uh, I have a few low connection and may my connection hang out while I'm typing, this is why that I uh, passed in a separate file. So here I'm gonna uh, link it with my JavaScript, so I say a script, and its SRC is going to be a script.js, which is this file that I have created before here. So now if I save it and go here, uh, we already connect this one, and we wanted to access the element that we uh, passed in HTML. So here I say const, and we're gonna declare here uh, variable here and we're gonna access this uh, so say document.get sorry get element by id and its id is search we're gonna do the same for the match list so say const match uh, list and assign it to document dot get element by id I guess no way get element by id and its id is match list uh, now we wanted to uh, fetch the data from this json file so here i came and say i declare an async function so i say async and declare a function and i'm gonna call this function as search country and in this uh, search country i'll pass a, a parameter and this parameter is going to hold the text that came from the input type. So inside this, I'm going to declare a variable, call it response. And in this uh, response, what we're going to do, we're going to assign uh, the JSON file which came. And we wanted to assign to fetch to we can get. So I say wait, wait, cause this is an async function. And uh, we want it to be wait till it's fetched. So I say fetch and where we wanted to fetch this file so i pass this file just here i say countries.json that's all now I, I, I want to declare another variable call it uh, countries in countries and in this countries we're gonna assign uh, await uh, by default it can change it to the json so we want to I change it to the JSON, so I say JSON uh, response dot JSON. So now uh, we want to console dot log to make sure if we get if we get these things successfully. So here I'm gonna pass the countries. So now if I save it in the console and go back here and, and expect and in the console. Um, come on in the console we got nothing because we didn't call this function so out of this here I came and passed the search country and now if I save it in the console 
uh, we get no we get all the elements uh, these are the elements that we fetch from that JSON file so after that we get these things uh, we're gonna do some other thing we want to filter this out so I declare a variable call it max and assign it to the countries uh, this countries I don't know why I passed this here countries in uh, in this we want to filter this out so I say filter and in this filter as you know filter takes uh, three parameters value Area itself in uh, value index and area itself. So here I'm gonna pass the country, which is the value of each element of that array or that JSON file. So after that, I'm gonna call a callback function to this. So here I'm gonna write a simple fetch. So here I declare a variable, call it a reg ex, and assign it to a new regular expression, reg exp. So inside this, I'm gonna write a uh, regular expression. So, so I wanna say uh, if it's a star with a value which came from the input type. So here I'm gonna pass the uh, I'm gonna pass the search text which came from here as it, as I told you before. So I say search text and we want it to it be global and case sensitive. So I say G I G J it stands for global and I for case insertive. And it, it's a search for if it's be capital letter or a small letter. So we want it to return the country dot name dot match the match that uh, came from this ex rich ex so now out of this if I came and say console.log and pass the matches here save it in the console what we get is uh, an empty array because uh, we type nothing and if I came because I didn't call this one I want to call actually a pass a zero here too so we wanted, to, we wanted to call this function whenever we type something in this uh, input type so here I came and say search uh, which is came from here which is which is <laughs> add we wanted to add an event listener we wanted to this event occur whenever user input something and we want to call an arrow function and in this arrow function, we're gonna call the search country. And in this, we wanna get the value from the search. So I say search dot value. Search dot value searches that this element you saw here, this one. And uh, save it. Go to the browser. Uh, type something. And then whenever I type something, it's going to return all the values from here. And uh, these are all the countries that are returned. As you see, I pass the A here, it returns all the values which are sorted from the A. But as you see, let me refresh it once more. Here, if I type A and clear this out, you see that all these things came out. One, two, when we clear this out, we get, we got, we don't get this object. So, place of that here. I'm gonna come and uh, declare an if statement. So here I say if uh, search, which is that input of value was equal to nothing, then we'll, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna uh, pass the max uh, to nothing, for example. Now if I save it in the console, go and type A, actually what happened, because we did a console.log this. So here I say console dot log and pass the matches here. Save it. Type something a and we when we clear the out, actually this uh, should be before the console dot log. So I bring it before the console dot log. Save it and uh, type something. We get these which are started from a. Now if I clear this out, we get nothing. So perfect. Now we created the logic of our application. Now we want to implement it to our browser to it should be represented on a web page. So I'm gonna declare another function here. So I call this function 
um, what we want to do. I'm gonna call it the HTML here. HTML, and in this HTML, we're gonna pass the matches because we want to this represent all the match that return on. So in this case, we want to if there is something in a match, so I say match, match, match size so actually, and if match dot length were bigger than zero, and what we're gonna do here, we're gonna uh, declare a variable called HTML and assign it to match, um, match dot. We want it to map to over them. We're gonna pass the match map uh, parameter here, and we're gonna call we're gonna call a callback function to this map. So here I declare a backtick. Actually, its name is backtick. I guess so. So here I'm gonna declare a ul to. Uh, we wanted to pass those values which are return where we type in a uh, in a search. They are going to be represented in a list of in a list. So in an order list. So here I'm gonna close the soft I say ul and inside this I'm gonna declare a, an li and inside this li we're gonna pass the uh, we're gonna pass the max actually match dot name uh, I forget to show you here uh, this uh, this array has each element and each element of them it's an object and when we wanted to access its object, we have to pass its property name. Using this, we can access that. So here, I'm gonna pass match dot name. And uh, as you know, this match will look through over all these elements, all these uh, properties. So now uh, I, ha I have to close this off. So I say li. And out of this, I came and join it. So I say uh, join. Join. I forgot how to type join, <laughs> and I'm gonna pass a parenthesis here. Out of this, actually inside this one. Sorry, here I'm kind of, I came and say match list, which is uh, this variable here that hold the value or the ID of the match list or that that we declare inside the HTML here. So. Inside this, I came and say my list dot uh, my list dot match list dot inner HTML and inside this inner HTML, we're gonna pass the HTML which is this variable. So now we have to call this uh, function somewhere to be called. So the perfect way or the perfect place is here. Here I came. We didn't need that console.log, so I cleared it out. So here I'm gonna call the the HTML method. And inside this, we're gonna pass the match because we want to represent the match, not all of them. Now, if I save it, go to the browser, type something out here. And uh, I type uh, A is going to return the countries which are started with A, which is Afghanistan, Ireland, Ireland. And if I type, for example, I is going to return these things out. But when we clear this out, they are not going to be disappeared. We disappeared them in a console, but we didn't here. So here I'm gonna I'm gonna came here and say uh, uh, if the match list match list dot inner HTML were it was equal to nothing. So if the search was equal to nothing, the match list dot inner HTML is going to be an empty thing. Now if I came here and save it in a console. Yeah, now that in the console here I came and passed the A is going to return all the countries which are inside the A. If I clear it out, the, this list is going to be disappear. So this was from this tutorial. If you like it, as a first of this tutorial, I also mentioned to make sure to subscribe my channel. So see you in the next tutorial. Bye.